Rabbi Ron speaks about, guess what today? The Shofar. Yes, I'm speaking about the Shofar. This month, one of my favorite months, September, we get to begin to celebrate the Fall Feast. First one, many people today now call it Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, but in the Bible, the name is Yom Teruah, the day of shofar blast, blast in the shofar. When I lived in New York, I used to go to festivals and set up a table at just community festivals and get to meet people. And every time I did, I brought my little shofar with me. And throughout the day, I just blow the shofar to get people's attention and let them hear the sound. They'd start looking. I'm like, yes, hi, it's me. Have you ever seen this before? And have a conversation with the people. Well, I remember one year, Broome County Fair always set up a table for the week there at the county fair inside a hall with other vendors. I believe it was a Sunday night. I know it was an early evening. I'm pretty sure a Sunday night. And I'm blowing the show far inside that hall. Finally, this lady who has a table set up about 15, 20 feet away from me, she comes over to look at me, to talk with me. And, and listen, let me tell you, she wasn't smiling. She looks at me and she says, excuse me, but I've been trying, I'm working at the table over there, and throughout the night, I've been trying to take a nap. And every time I start to fall asleep, you blow that horn and wake me up. I said, okay, God, what do I do? I just got a one good answer, what should I say? And I look at this lady, I said, well, you're working at the table, right? Well, if you're working, you ought to be thanking me that I'm helping you stay awake. I don't think she appreciated the answer based on the look of her face. She turned around and stormed off and went back to her table to try to fall asleep once again. The shofar would wake her up. And that's exactly one of the prayers in the Jewish prayer book for Rosh Hashanah, even as Rosh Hashanah, about the shofar comes from Moses Maimonides, a teacher in Judaism, and this is what he said, Awake you sleepers from your slumber and rouse yourself from your lethargy scrutinize your deeds and return in repentance. Remember your creator, you who forget eternal truth in the trifles of the hour, you who go astray after all your years, after vain illusions which can neither profit nor deliver. The shofar is a physical wake-up call. It wakes people up just like your alarm clock and the, the, that lady at the Broome County Fair. But it is intended by God as a spiritual wake-up call. You're running after foolish, vain things that will not get you anywhere in life. And this is to wake you up to stop and think, what am I doing with my life? Is this what God created me for? We'll talk more about what else that shofar should remind you of when we get together again soon. One last time. Uh -huh.